Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how you can change the color or the, well, I guess both colors, I can show you how to do both. So uh, here's the background color of what would be a tab view. So I just have some like very little code already. So basically you have a tab view here and then let me, I'll just do it, something stupid there, but let's erase that. So basically here's your tab view, like I just said, look at the closing brackets of your tab view. So mine's right here, right? If you click in front of one bracket all the time, it'll, it'll just highlight your matching closing bracket. So if you don't want to mess it up or you just want to quick figure out how to do it, you could just do this. And see how it just highlights your closing bracket. So if you go like here, and then it tells you, I actually have already written it. So if I got rid of this, it would go back to that default, right? And then again, this is the actual color of the icons. So by default, it is blue. So if you delete it, it'll still be blue. But if you want it to be red, right, yellow, any of those colors works. You can always do your custom colors, but I'm not going to show you how to do that here. But that's easy as well. So if you go here after the closing bracket for your tab view and you just write dot on appear and in between the brackets for those guys which you really shouldn't have to figure it that one's easy to figure out uh, you call your UI tab bar your user interface tab bar dot appearance dot background color equals whatever yellow right so whatever color you want you could do I think there's a light gray yep you could do light gray and then it changes the whole thing so that's pretty much it very simple easy to do and that's how you change the background color and, in fact, how you change the color of the icons as well for your tab views. Uh, if you have any video suggestions, put them in the comments below and see you in the next one.